what is going on you savages welcome back to the channel and what i got for you guys right now is actually a video that i just posted on my second channel which in that channel i cover other gaming news and i just started a new series where i do the gaming news roundup of the week similar to what i do here with wwe 2k18 and wwe news and rumors roundup but again on that second channel i focus on other games so if you guys are interested after watching this upcoming video make sure that you guys subscribe nonetheless a monkey in the production truck roll it what is going on guys welcome back to more gaming news and i figured since it's the end of the week of the first week of me launching the channel it's a great time to keep at it with the gaming coverage by debuting a new series that i'm gonna be doing at the end of the week every single week so on this series we're gonna be talking about some of the gaming news that we didn't get to cover throughout the week but that i still want to be able to cover it so again on this round that we put some of the news rumors and updates that happened throughout the week and quickly round them up nonetheless let's get right to it we one of the top games that i do cover over here of course red dead redemption 2 as many in the game industry are indicating that this is actually a good thing that red dead redemption 2 was delayed obviously it's not a good thing for us but in general they're indicating that this is gonna drive sales of multiple consoles it is being indicated that just like gta 5 red dead redemption 2 gonna be generating a lot of console sales that ultimately just gonna benefit every other game that's gonna be coming out because obviously with more people having consoles then and more people buying the games and on a quick update to the gta 6 story that i covered early on this week indicating that one of the motion capture actor indicated in his resume that he was working on gta 6 so after he debunked this story multiple other sources are coming out indicating the same thing that it was fake but regardless the story could be fake but nonetheless the motion capture for gta 6 is more than likely already done as well or is being done at the moment so even if he wasn't the one that posted the resume it is still fair to say that obviously GTA 6 is way under development. Moving on in regards to Call of Duty, the main menu was actually leaked or I should say Michael Condry just gave it out on Twitter. Nasha put a tweet out indicating that he's daydreaming right now of having ranked matches in COD World War 2. Which Michael Condry replied with the menu that you guys are seeing in the screen right now. Not much to it but obviously we're getting public matches, ranked matches, definitely confirmed, custom matches, daily mode, last play and not zombies the interesting one right here is daily mode because everything else we obviously know what it is or we could kind of just figure it out but daily mode is also not hard to speculate on because what it more than likely is for example double xp on headquarters or something like that it could be a specific type of thing that they trying to make you do so that you end up in that lobby so again double crypto xp if you play this game mode today or double xp if you play this game mode today only certain type of things like that that is pretty much where all the sweats are gonna be going on other call of duty news so call of duty remaster which i haven't played since the first week that it came out because it was pretty obvious that they were gonna go way off on it nonetheless you can now buy it as a standalone call of duty for what i believe is to be 40 bucks which is definitely overpriced and steam pretty much just wrecked this game because it is in the not recommended tag section not just for the price but also due to the fact that supply drops in it are getting out of hand moving on to assassin's creed as the developer they kind of answer the question in regards to what is up with the snake in the assassin's creed trailer because it just doesn't feel like it fits in the assassin's creed realm but ashraf ismail did indicated that there is a justification for the snake of course you don't want me to spoil that for you and i won't yes it is a giant snake if you ask yourself how could a giant snake exist for a guy like bayek i'm sure there are a few answers that can work but I'll stay saying that Assassin's Creed is an authentic, credible experience. So don't worry guys, we will get an explanation in regards to why there's exactly a giant snake on the game. And the last update is in regards to the Nintendo Switch, as reports are indicating that the Nintendo Switch console, portable home console that is, combo, is maintaining sales momentum throughout the year and it is expected for it to continue. This is obviously great news compared to the previous Nintendo consoles, and to nobody's surprise of course the legend of Zelda is the big winner here with 3.92 million units so lifetime already representing 83 percent of the nintendo switch owners right behind that is mario kart 8 overall i certainly see the potential and i like the fact that they're working with much more companies such as 2k games for example to bring other games not just the regular because other triple a titles could definitely and will for sure benefit the 
console. One which I'm certainly looking forward to is WWE 2K18. We haven't seen a wrestling game, portable wrestling game, in about four to five years now. But with the power that the Nintendo Switch has, this year specifically, things are looking much more better. Because it looks like a game like WWE 2K18 is not gonna be much more different in the Nintendo Switch compared to the Xbox One and PS4. So again, the fact that it's keeping momentum and it is competing with Xbox One and PS4, at least in the sense of trying to keep up, then things are definitely looking well. Nonetheless guys, that is what I have for you guys on this gaming news roundup. As always, turn on those notifications to be fully up to date on much more gaming news throughout the week, and every weekend we'll round up such as this one. So there you guys have it, just a taste of how it is on my second channel, so if you guys are interested in it, like I said before, make sure that you guys subscribe to it, link down in the description, it is also being suggested to you guys right now, right there, but if you're not interested in it, that is fine because you are still a savage, just make sure that you guys elbow drop that like button, dig it!